In order to proceed with MongoDB queries, we need to load some sample data. Data that has different fields with different types, such as objects, arrays, numbers, strings, and so on. I have prepared some sample data that consists of 1000 documents. This data is fully random, it doesn't represent any real people or something like that. Attached to this lesson, you will find a file called persons.json. So please download it and open. This file will contain an array of objects. And each object will represent some random person. So just copy all contents of the file and go to Robo3T. Open up Mongo shell and load this data into new collection called persons. So just perform following operation. db.persons insert many you remember this method and in parentheses just paste contents of the persons.json file. Here it is. And execute this command. And here you will get a result with all object IDs of documents that were inserted. So here you see that 1000 elements were inserted. Ok. Let's perform find operation. But before I will refresh this left tree, you see here that person's collection was automatically created. There is one more option to create a collection. So just insert some documents into new collection and this collection will be created automatically. So just double click on new collection. Find operation will be performed. And you will see all documents that were just loaded into collection. You see that each document in this collection contains some information about random people. Again, this data is fully random and you can generate similar data yourself using different JSON generators. Imagine that in our case we have some sample data about people that are users of one of the social networks. And each document contains set of fields related to specific person such as name, is active, true or false, date of registration, age, gender, eye color, favorite fruit, company, where this user works, tags, and so on. Also, each document has an index that is incremented by one for each next document in the collection. And there are 1000 such kind of documents in the person's collection. We can just use count method to ensure that we have 1000 documents. So just add count and command enter. Let's go on and start performing some queries on this collection. See you.